Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to talk, it's day one, we're going to talk about Pinterest and how it works and what you want to be doing in order to succeed on Pinterest. So number one, we're going to start with, and we have lots of days to do this. So today I just want you to figure out what Pinterest thinks your product categories are. Okay, so I started with Etsy. You could start with, and I did this with Ruby Lane, which is a vintage seller place. And I want you to make some notes about what product categories people are looking for. So Etsy, they're looking for shops, crafts, so crafts, Etsy crafts. Let's look and see what it is. And you can do this with any search you do, and you'll we'll do it a bunch today. We're going to go back and forth. So Etsy crafts, how to make tons of money on Etsy, how to fail on Etsy, the best crafts to make and sell. So now if I was an Etsy handmade seller, I would know that I don't want to be looking at Etsy crafts because you would be more talking to people who are looking to be sellers than to be looking for people who would buy your things. So we're going to not start with Etsy, although I do want to just give you one um, products, Etsy products is a really, it can be a really good one now. It does seem like it's turning into a, um, you know, more of a for Etsy seller. So we're not going to do that. Okay, now we have Ruby Lane. Now you could do for Ruby Lane because it's less um, there aren't so many people talking about how to sell on Ruby Lane. So I would for sure look at these keywords, vintage, jewelry, blue, blue, blue. Blue is a category, a really high up category for people who are looking for these kind of products on Etsy. Now, we also want to look and see what are they um what are they showing us, right? So they're showing us a lot of single pictures, black and white. They're showing us a lot of, um, like, we're going to talk about how to do this, vintage collectibles, um, how to do those, how to do it for our shop only, right? Then they also have interesting things here, antique dolls, rare antiques, cranberry glass. You want to be taking notes of all those keywords at, if they apply to your shop, right? Um, oh, look at this. This is signs. This is more um, lifestyle. These are, you know, just plain backgrounds. Here's a sponsor spotlight with, you know, different plate trays. So that's interesting. You're going to want to look at all of these and find out what Pinterest wants. Because remember, this is different than what Ruby Lane, what Etsy, what you know, eBay, what those people want. What we want to focus on are the people on Pinterest, what do they want? Because that's what we're going to be trying to accomplish. Now let's go to Handmade, because I think this is really, really um interesting and and guys don't get stuck in oh she just showed me vintage that's not me i'm handmade the people that are looking at pinterest are dreaming they're figuring out how to make the perfect nursery how to make the perfect wedding how to find the perfect gifts for their family for christmas you'll see people with christmas boards and they may be secret we may not even be able to see them but they're saving those things in order to be able to buy them so let's, let's see what we have. So first thing you want to do is go across the top. So handmade jewelry, obviously crafts. Handmade crafts to me feels more like they want to know how to do it, but I would look for it. Handmade gifts, that's an amazing one. We don't want business because we don't want to be focusing on, you know, attracting people who are going to be in business with us. We want to attract people who have, a need for what we're selling. So decorating paper, handmade paper, nice. Ornaments, now I bet you that starts moving up as Christmas comes, right? 
um, cards, bags, clothes. You can just go down here, right? There's Christmas. It's already starting, and it's July, people. Okay. So this is handmade pressed flowered candles. These are tiny horseshoes. Now let's talk about the difference between these. This is a regular post and this is a promoted post. A lot of people, a lot of sellers want to ignore the promoted posts because they're like, oh, they're promoted posts. And I get that they have a better chance of showing up, but they also spend a lot of money and do a lot of research. So I tend to, if I'm going to be making some pins, for my products, I would, and I was selling handmade jewelry, I would make a pin that looked like this, right? That has a woman's face in it, that has differentiated colors, and that shows the the product up close in a in kind of a lifestyle at the top. So just start making notes of all these things. Look how cute that is. I totally would have, I don't want to have a baby, but that's adorable. Okay, handmade books. Now I'm starting to feel, okay, handmade felt applique. I think, oh, oh gosh, let's talk about, as we go through here, it's so annoying, right? Like people will do, uh, save your beautiful handmade um, stuff to their DIY board. I'm going to do it myself, you know, crafts to make, things to do, right? Do not get upset about that, right? So say you sell this really cute stocking stuffer that's a burlap bag and these rocks with the X's and O's and they put it on a crafts to make board. I'm here to tell you that there are three types of people in the world and I've been doing this a very long time, almost 20 years. There are people that will take that and make that craft and God bless them, you know, you help them. They're going to they're gonna give a fabulous present and life is good. Second type of person is not going to do anything. They just have a billion Pinterest boards and they're going to do absolutely nothing. And the third type of the people is who we want to attract. They're the ones like me that goes, oh, that would be so cool. I love that. And then they're like looking for rocks. They can't find them. And they're right back to that person. And they're like, oh, I'm really going to get this. I'm never going. Oh my gosh, I have a project for Christmas that I'm going on my second Christmas that I haven't finished it up. So do not get stressed out about that, especially because we're going to be posting lots to Pinterest and you can't let that worry about you. The only thing we want to be worrying about is how much, how many more views we get in our shop and how many more sales we get. Okay, so let's go down to, uh, yeah, I haven't done decorations at all. So handmade decorations. Okay, handmade, right here, Etsy, very first. Handmade bright colored pom-pom garland Mexican. Day. I love that. That's beautiful. And that's just a link right to their shop, okay? So that's, at, it's a lifestyle picture. So if you're making decorations, you want to start thinking about, are they lifestyle pictures or just product pictures, right? Look at all those. I have a thing for small, colorful things, so I'm very sorry. Like, that just caught my eye. Um, okay, so you're going to be wanting to look at those things. Let's go to the next one. We have digital planner. So remember I told you I'm going to be working on my digital planner business. So if you sell digitals, we want to see what they look like. So digital planner for iPad? Interesting. That must be more of an app, right? And for me, so you really want to think about that. Is it an app? Is it a digital planner that you can fill in, like an editable one? I don't do editable. Is it a printable planner? Things like that. So here's here's what I would be looking at. Um, like this is why I prefer digital planner. Oh, see, I'm in the wrong place. I don't want to be in digital planner. These are all about using digital planners. Let's go to planner, planner ideas, planner organization, planner stickers, happy planner. Happy planner is a type of printed planner, planner printables. That's me. So then I would start looking at these. So 100 free, you're going to get all weird. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, there's 100 free planner printables. Why would anybody buy mine? Don't get nervous. We're just selling what we're selling. I've sold over $25,000 were the planner printables. Don't get yourself in a twist. Okay, so these are all about free planner printables, right? So now I want to see what's closer to mine. 
Oh, 2019 weekly planner printables. How to make a binder with planner printables. So those are all things. And then even if it was for my Etsy shop, I would want to format them like these girls are formatting these pictures because Etsy has told us they like they like to share these kind of printable pins, okay? We want to be looking and taking notes about what the stuff we sell looks like on Pinterest. And we're not being judgy. We don't care what our brand is. We don't care what everybody on Etsy does. We don't care even what we like. We want to know what Pinterest likes, right? Okay, so Pinterest jewelry. We can tell right away if we're doing jewelry, they want to see that piece of jewelry on a body part for the most part. Now, there are other ones. There's an Etsy one. Very nice. Um, so you want to take a look at that. There's, But you would think, oh, my gosh, they're just going to be those plain ones. There's those horseshoe ones again. So they're trying all different pins. Even when they're just a plain, they're on a little bit of a different background. And what that tells you is, that Pinterest is about pretty pictures and people like to save pretty pictures. Oh, look at that one. That Etsy one is really cool. Okay, so then you're gonna go down the order. So say you sell bracelets, jewelry bracelets, right? Um, and then say it is bangles. So you wanna start getting down here and start to see what, now this is an e-commerce shop. You can always tell because it has that little price taggy thing. Right there, see where it's a price taggy thing? And this is going to probably a Shopify store. So as I said, this isn't, um, yeah, this is a Shopify store. This is not just for, you can have a Shopify store, you can have a Etsy store, you can have whatever. What you want to do is you want to look and see what kind of pictures are showing up well and what your keywords are, okay? There's jewelry, bracelets, bangles, Etsy. Okay, even on this one, that is a, um, like, these are cool, gold stacks. Now we're getting a little bit more, the girls on Etsy are like, I like to do it plain, right? But we know for a fact that everywhere else for jewelry, they really like to see it on a person or in a lifestyle photo. So I would try a plain one, and even with like that little bit of greenery in the back was enough, right? Even this white thing that it's sitting on is enough. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is bath. So if we're saying bath and body makers, we want, um, so look, relaxing bath, bombs. So bath bombs, if you're a bath and beauty maker and you sell bath bombs, you want to start taking without citric acid. Interesting. Um, Lush, I believe, is a brand. Easy isn't going to be us, right? That's for how to easily make them. Recipes is not going to make, is not for us. But let's look at essential oils, right? So this is DIY, 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 DIY. Okay, so when you find this and every single thing is DIY, then we want to go back and we want to find how to, like, natural packaging fizzy okay fizzy bath bombs and you want to keep looking until you find stores with those little tags right because then we know that your product is matching the place in pinterest christmas gifts here we go is matching the place in pinterest where they're showing products okay christmas no christmas gifts nope uh, fizzy bath bombs. Let's try without citric acid. Okay, here's one. There we go with stars. So when it has stars, that usually means, oh, it's a blog post. Nice for me. <laughs> but we want to find those ones with the, uh, and I'm glad it's hard for me, right? Because I would hate for you to get um, gift ideas. I would hate for you to get into your product and then go, but Tara did it so easy. Sometimes it's not so easy. Okay. 
how to make, how to make. These are all recipes. Okay, so let's go back to bath bombs and see if there's one. Okay, let's go to Lush because we know they're selling Lush bath bombs. This is what they do. Um, okay, so pretty. So what this means, I believe, unless this is not Lush, right? So they're using the keyword Lush in their bath bombs. So it could be Lush inspired. It could be Lush scented. It could be, but that's something to think about. You know, you don't even have to say Lush. You know, you could say for a Lush experience and that would get you into this right place in Pinterest. Okay, let's keep going because we're going to keep these under 20 minutes. This is home decor. So I'm here to tell you, you want to go to the highest level of things. So for me, I sell um, vintage stuff. So I would go to maybe rustic. Um, and we get so used to saying vintage, people are not necessarily looking for vintage when they're starting on Pinterest. They're starting with like, oh, I want something like Joanna Gaines Farmhouse, right? And then we can start to see what's going on. So 28, 70 stunning, 25. So we know this is all, um, none of these have the little things. So we know these are all roundup posts of ideas, which as an Etsy seller or as a e-commerce seller is going to be hard. So let's keep going. Vintage. Now let's go to vintage for me. Yours wouldn't be to vintage. And then let's go to farmhouse. So we're getting way far down here. I was going to say we should probably start running out. And now we're down to where we're starting to see Etsy and Crate and Barrel and things like that. So we're a Birch Lane. I mean, like now I'm all in here and I see that they want to have Farm, so Vintage Rustic Home Decor Farmhouse does not want a picture of a product. They are shouting loud and clear at me. They want a lifestyle picture where I'm showing them how to use that. I don't have to write a whole blog post, but I want to have a picture of a crate with some g -jaws on it or put my, you know, wooden cutting boards in here and a way you can do that just so that you're not freaking out is you can make a picture to share on Pinterest that goes to a you know just one item for sale on your site okay and then we have one more last one let's take a peek at that and this was storage so if you're selling storage ideas you want to start thinking about and looking at what are people looking for Okay, kitchen storage ideas. What are they wanting? Um, these are all in their drawers. So if you're selling some kind of, you know, cute envelope system or, you know, whatever, you would want to start kitchen storage ideas, cupboards, furniture, pantry, solutions. You know, you may be able to get into solutions Say you sold these drawer dividers, you had a, uh, a woodworking shop. So you want to look at these words and you want to go down all those little rabbit holes to figure out two things. What are the keywords that are people using where you can find items for sale that Pinterest has said, this is where we put the items for sale. And number two, what kind of pictures are they showing in those areas? So hopefully that helps. Feel free to leave questions below, either in the comments. And if you like this, make sure to thumbs up because we're going to be doing a bunch of this. And if you want to be notified, subscribe, and then YouTube will let you know when I come on next. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.